Another quick video minute. I've come down the lane, right, left the main part of the West Mendip Way. I did notice a track going through the wood there, and I'm thinking to myself, I wonder if that leads down to the Troll Bridge, where I could actually avoid the cows. I'm, I'm reckon there's a way that way. Anyway, I can hear the road now. I'll be going up through that coombe there. It's a road that weaves in. And I'll be heading for Robert Warren Trees. See those tall trees? That's where I'll be heading. And I'll be weaving in and out of them. At the moment, I'm just totally enjoying this blissful walk. But I'm a bit scared because I know in a minute the Shipham to Cheddar Road is fast and dangerous. Um, I've got to come off, I've got to go along it for a very, not very far at all, but I've still got to come off it and go up uh, B Road. Um, and that's what I'll be doing. And I'm really enjoying this walk at the moment. Once I get across that road, it's not far, I go up the up. Then when I get up the top, past a campsite, there is a campsite there, by the way, for tents and camper vans. I keep going past that, and then there'll be a big green bar across. Um, sometimes it's, it's unlocked and open, to let the horses through, and that leads you into Robert Warren. And then I'll be weaving round this pathway and working my way through the Warren to the foot of the hill fort, climbing up the opposite side of the hill fort that I did from what I did a couple of months ago. And uh, then I'm going to go down the secret, what I call the secret steps, very, very steep, but they take you down and then I'm going to follow the route past the pink house heading for Tynion's farm on the lower route, actually walking through the farm on this occasion, and back to Cheddar via, guess what, piney sights. Let's hope. And if the cows are in the field, I just take an alternative route. I've got it all worked. I haven't done this route for a while, so it's always nice when I haven't done it for a while, because, um, you know, I'm not saying I ever get bored with my routes, but I do like to vary them. I do like to vary them. Right, this is this big road I'm telling you about that you're going to hear. The fast Shipham to Cheddar Road. Big cows in the field over there, so I won't be going in in no field. I'm going up the road, which is just along a bit. It's only along a bit. Hopefully I can go on the grass verge. Very, very close the road. In fact, it's so close, it's just over there. I didn't realise how close it was, actually. It's very close, isn't it? I didn't have to travel anywhere. We just have a look at this gate. Have a look down. There's a nice little farm. They've got their own woods. Another farm over there. And, of course, the cheddar quarry is a, the other side of those trees. A big cheddar quarry. This is called Winterhead Hill. Going up where I've just come from. And I'll be going over there. Okay? Quickly. That's it. Winterhead Farm. That's called Lilypool there. That's, uh, it's Lilypool Cafe. Um, I didn't know it was a cafe. I've just realised if you say wanted to, you'd be, if I was with someone else, they might say, let's go to Lilypool Cafe after we've come up the road. Now another thing, see the sign Charter House there? This road also leads to Pretty. It also leads eventually to Velvet Bottom, where I was not long ago. So all my walks, one way or another, link up. It's like a big web. A big web of interrelated pathways and tracks and roads and all I do is try to explore as much of them as I can. 
I always say to people, if you don't want to hear me, you can turn the volume down. Or you could put your own music to it or something. There's a nice big healthy herd as well. All sat down. It's not going to rain, is it? It's a big healthy herd. I do like cows, you know. I always talk to them. It's a big one with horns, aren't they? Look at him. He's massive. Look at the size of his head. And that's the Lily Pool Cafe then. I don't know how long it's been like that. I've never noticed it before because I just come straight across like that. So that's handy to know if, say, you were only going for a small walk with a friend or someone who didn't want to go far. We said, come on, we're going to have coffee and cake. Right then, I'm going to turn off now. I just want to take a picture of that great big white cow because I reckon that's the bull. He sat in the middle surrounded by his family. Over and out, folks. It's been a good, good half an hour walk up that hill, by the way, down from... Right, back on again, let's change the battery. It was a convenient place, actually. So this is the Mendip camp. You can put tents, camper vans, if you want to explore the hills. It's a good place. And just up here in a minute, just along here, I'll be turning off to get into the woods. Um, there's a fork here. You curve around like that if you want to carry on on the road to Tinian's Farm on the road and then Charter House, Pretty, all that. You carry on round and weaving. But in a minute, when I get up here, I should cross over and I should be going through, down through a bridle path and entering Robero Warren. Car coming. All right, hold on a minute. I can see people with tents, so... Well, I can see one tent at the moment. If you wanted to come, because sometimes they think, I ought to pra try my tent out. But I would prefer, because I haven't got a vehicle at the moment anyway, to be near the shops and stuff, because, you know, it's a long way to hike to a shop in it from here, and no, there ain't nothing, basically. <laughs> So, but if you just want to say do one night, great big lorry coming now. I'm going to keep out the way while this big lorry goes by. Great big lorry going by. Just let him go a minute. What was that say there? You get great big lorries like that, you see, coming by. I've got to cross over very soon, checking there's nothing coming up behind that way. So, it was a steady hike, feet are dry. Still interesting to do it now and again, come along this way. It's quite easy, really. I mean, it is all uphill, but don't mind the way. I've come right down from the bottom. It is all uphill. And now we turn off. And we're in the peace and quiet of Robero Warren. And there's probably a route there. That's probably joins up with the campsite. That might even be a way across to another route that I take further over. It's more likely that this is another pathway. Okay? Which I'm gradually getting around finding all these different routes. It takes time, you can't do it all at once. You gotta build up your back no, background knowledge. And of course I've been in here quite a few times. I've already come back down, I have come back down this way once and uh, gone down there. It's a route I would take if I didn't want to go near cows. So here we go. Now we'll, all what we'll do now, we'll be weaving around this pathway and then getting deeper into the wood. 
There will be paths leading off all over the place, by the way. We're still going uphill. There is going to be hill involved on this walk. Um, there will be hill because I've actually got to climb up the fort as well, don't forget. So, although people think, but don't she take a long time to get her about? I don't really. I'm steady. And I confront everything that faces me. More or less. Obviously, I told you about cows. All I can remember about this one is that it seems the long way around going like that to get into the warren and I've often wondered if there is another path that would take you down to the main stream area not that I want to do it today but <clears throat> I wouldn't mind doing it I, I would do it if I come across it in a minute but of course it's summer now and any path like that will probably be most likely overgrown I can see a sign coming up, but locals will know their way. Locals who live nearby and take go out with their dogs will explore ins and out, just like I do in my wood. So you know all of it. You know the way through, the quick ways, but you see the locals, you see the visitors come in and they haven't got a clue where they're going. I, do, I know the basic outline around here. And I, don't, I know a lot of the road by a bigger bit further over. But as I was sort of saying, oh, I think I'll go that way today if I was a local person. No, I won't be. Sign coming up. This is very popular road barrel with mountain bikers, by the way. It is designed, there are, app, there are routes designed especially for bikers. Please keep permissive trails only and control speed on shared pathways. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> now look at that. There we go. Those are the tall trees of Robero that I have as a reference point and we see them all over the place. There they are. And that's where we're heading. I'm going to stop now and take a picture of that. It's a lovely scene. I go. I ho, I ho. Old mining territory, just a bit of history about Roborough. All the trees here, there are not, it's not just tall pine trees, like factory trees, there are some beautiful other trees as well. But this is also the old Shipham and Roborough mining area. lead and some other product, I can't remember what it's called now. Um, oh, the sun's gone in. Hope it comes out again. That was really nice having the sun out. I said it was going to be dry today. I didn't bring waterproofs. I didn't bring an umbrella. I know you brought a windproof. I trusted them. It looked good, the weather forecast. And it could, yeah, it's just, it's nice to have a bit of a cool spell. I mean, I've just walked up that hill, right? So it is nice to have a cool spell. I've often thanked the sun for going in for a bit. 
what it is here, this is a bit like a horseshoe that takes it back on itself. But I've often thought that there should be a path down the bottom here, going straight along, that would take you to the, the stream area, where there's like a junction point. Um, I have seen people walking along further up, but I didn't, I've never been able to see an entrance to get down, to walk through there then. If you know what I mean, like a path that will go straight through there. Otherwise it means you have got to do the horseshoe and round. You do get deer in this wood. You get adders. You get loads of wildlife. Of course you do. They're yeah, down here somewhere. I've often thought there should be a path that'll bring you out here and you can go straight down through the valley. I'll just have a look round to see if there is anything. But it's because it's um, the end of the summer, there's lots of vegetation. Um, it might show up better in the winter, but I don't do this route very often. So, I mean, it looks like there's a way in there, doesn't it? Look. That looks like a path, but I don't want to go on the wild goose chase either. We we'll just go in and have a quick look. There's a stream. Look. What we do, we just go along a bit because it might be really mucky. And it might, though it looks like it's taken me along that side, doesn't it? Look. It's a definite um, pathway, isn't it? I reckon there is. I think we'll do it. We'll do a bit of exploring today. Yeah, we'll do it. I've often thought about doing this. Let's hope it don't come to a dead end now though, and then I've got to walk all the way back. <sighs> Spooky in here though, isn't it? people. They're on the other side of the valley on that other path. See sometimes if you don't explore you never find out all the routes. I know where this valley is going. It's not actually very far. It would have been taking me much further to gone down the horseshoe. It just depends if I'm suddenly going to meet a bog. And I can't get, I can't get through, or it suddenly goes up, and I don't want to do that either. But my instinct is telling me. Don't forget, I've never done this before. This is all basically new. But there's the rope of trees. I can hear people down in the valley over there. I just don't want to come to a dead end. Oh, what do you reckon? Path going up there. Path going down there. Or can you go on? Go on. Go on, Sheila. Don't go down into the bog. This is all instinct. And it's also... experience. But knowing me, I've made a mistake, but we'll carry on. It looks like a path to me. It looks like a path to me. If you don't do it, you'll never know. I reckon you can get over the other side anyway if you wanted to, Shill. On the other side of that valley. I've seen the path come out the other end. It's very distinctive. I don't think... It's like, um... In my own woods, we used to have little paths like this, hidden. Right, there's a way to cross. If I want to now, I can go down there. I wouldn't go all the way back and do the horseshoe, no. If I felt worried now, I'd just go down and cross and get on that side.
Yeah, like I said, in Worldly Woods we used to have lots of little paths, but they've all been starting to be cleared. Um, especially after COVID, when more and more people were out walking. Right. It'll start clearing naturally in a minute down there. It's very boggy down there, though. Very boggy. So come with Sheila on uh, exploration, folks. I know exactly where I'm going now. And it's all in line with what I want to do anyway. We'll stay on this, we'll stay on this route because I do know it will get boggy down there. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute. See you in a minute.